to expand a little bit on, on this, uh, on how we understand each of us our religious tradition. And for some people, it's a religious tradition in which they have grown up and in which they feel very comfortable. Uh, with others, they feel less comfortable, but they still stand in a, a tradition. Others have an eclectic uh, spirituality. Uh, the, the great traditions, and even our whatever we have made for ourselves as our spiritual uh, home, the one way in which I find it helpful to think about it is as a door. It's not a place where you stay, but it's a door. And this door leads to that room, if you want to stay with the metaphor, which all of us have to ha share. See? Which all of us share. Because all the traditions share a room, share um, a faith and hope and love, they share these virtues, these, these in the attitudes. Uh, so you can compare the different expressions, for instance, that uh, different religious traditions give to love. They give very different expressions. Uh, to take just one example, uh, when you go to the Islamic tradition, uh, love, the same love that that we speak about, God is love, is expressed in very strongly sexual terms. Uh, when you go uh, to the Christian tradition, uh, the sex is always veiled with fig leaves and, and other little veils and so forth. <laughs> uh, that would be a, a very pretty obvious uh, difference. Uh, but you can also find uh, comparisons between the different traditions where they strongly, in their expression, strongly agree with one another. For instance, love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, I've often seen uh, quotes from every possible tradition that says practically exactly the same, and they sound very much alike. Uh, so you can, on this level of the door, uh, the, you can compare the door frames and the hardware and the hinges and so forth, and some are alike and some are very different. But the decisive thing is that when you go through the door, you enter a room where they are one, not the same, but one, just one. And that is uh, a helpful notion, I find. And, uh, I call the faith, faith not as beliefs, that's very important to distinguish faith and beliefs. Beliefs are, move on the level of the door, they are what you, they are expressions of faith, they are formulations of faith. And then you either believe them or you don't believe them. But faith is trust, faith is, uh, in German, Gottvertrauen. That's a much better, trans, a better word than Glaube. Glaube can always be etwas glauben, or etwas nicht glauben, or ich glaube, or ich bin nicht so sicher. That moves on a totally different level. Uh, faith, faith as trusting God, that is what faith really is. And when you enter that room, through which the doors of all the different traditions lead, uh, you have entered that faith which alone deserves to be Catholic. Now, don't, don't get your heckles up. <laughs> I uh, have grown up in the Catholic tradition. I stand in the Catholic traditions in both senses, but I will not allow the Roman Church to usurp the term Catholic. It is a much wider term. Yeah. And, and in the fourth century already, uh, within the Christian tradition, vierten Jahrhundert schon, uh, the, the word Catholic was defined, very clear definition. Ca the Catholic faith is that faith which all people 
at all times and in all places have had. And that for me is that faith that you reach when you go to this door. At that time they meant Christians, all Christians, uh, so they wanted to have the mainstream Christian. But the definition is still valid and I say I am Catholic in the sense that my faith is the faith that all people at all times and in all places held long before there were Buddhists, long before there were Jews, long before there was anything that had a labor. Human beings have faith, hope, and love. And that is the Catholic faith, if you want to use that term. Uh, I like to use that term because sometimes it comes very handy. For instance, when you go to a church where certain things are only available to Catholics, then you say, I'm a Catholic. <laughs>